During the dry, fire-prone months, Californians all around the state are extra diligent in keeping dry weeds cut and under control in an effort to help protect their property from potential wildfire. But experts warn that if these efforts are done irresponsibly, they can pose a hidden danger, causing fire instead of keeping it at bay. If you're uh, a mowing a grass area where there's a lot of rocks or debris, a rock can strike any of the uh, mower uh, blades and then create a spark and start a fire. If you're using a weed eater, you, you strike something again too, you can start a spark and then yeah, you know, grass fire will start immediately. In most parts of the state, the rainfall was above average this year. All that rain has led to an abundant amount of grass and brush and as the state moves into the summer season, it's now extremely dry. It's grass like this that homeowners should remove when they're creating their 100 feet of defensible space, but it is crucial that before the weed eater, the tractor, or the mower comes out, homeowners ensure that they don't do the right thing the wrong way. Every year, CAL FIRE responds to hundreds of fires started by Californians using equipment the wrong way. Officials say that all it takes to prevent these disasters are a few simple preventative steps and a little extra caution. And one of the first and most important steps you should take is ensuring that you use the right tool for the job at hand. Lawn mowers are designed to cut lawns, and not dry grass in the wildland. So if you're going to cut dry grass in the wildland, you want to use the right equipment, which could be a weed eater with a plastic line rather than a metal blade. Residents should also ensure any equipment use is done before 10 a.m. and never during windy, dry days. During the morning hours, humidity is higher, the temperature is lower, and the possibility of causing a fire is minimized. But even during the morning hours, everyone should always stay alert and aware of their surroundings. You want to make sure that you constantly monitor your area. You're constantly looking back, making sure that you didn't create a spark and start a fire. And in case a fire is accidentally sparked, officials say residents should carry basic safety tools to extinguish it before it can spread. You want to have, make sure that you have a fire extinguisher or some sort of water supply, or again, having just the basic shovel can help. Fire officials say that in addition to being held financially responsible for the damage to surrounding properties, those that cause equipment sparked fires like this one can be cited and fined thousands of dollars and even serve time in jail all of which could have been avoided by just following a few simple steps to do the right thing the right way. From Riverside County, Daniel Burland, CAL FIRE TV.